spread our eyes to the sky, saw a lots of rain today, lots of activity in general weather-wise. Yeah, is this old yet? No, <laughs> really. Are we done yet? <laughs> no, we're not. Wait, look outside. Windshield wipers are going. People are walking with their umbrellas. City streets are wet. We still have rain, but at least no more water spouts. Here's what it looked like earlier today. This is a twit pic that Jenny Wolfson sent in, and she says, is that a water spout over the lake? Yep. Sure was. All right, we've got a solar eclipse coming up. It is Monday, and I know you want to go outside and see it. Of course, you have to have the special gear. You cannot look up using your camera, using your sunglasses. You have to have special solar glasses. So the partial eclipse begins at 1157. It is at its peak at 129. It ends at 257 here in New Orleans. What's the forecast? Well, according to this, it's not looking great because we're going to have clouds, but I've lowered our rain chances to about a 30 to 40 percent chance, so fingers crossed we'll be okay. Meanwhile, we've got GERT. The great news about GERT, even though it's a hurricane moving north, northeast, 12 miles per hour, it's staying off the east coast. Here is a look at GERT, and it's pretty good looking. You can see it's really got a core of heavy rain and strong winds. Some dry air is getting wrapped into the system. Then we're watching three other systems. This one moving off the coast of Africa, 20% chance for tropical development. Then we've got two others we're watching, 40% chance for tropical development. A lot of dry Saharan dust, so that's a good thing. That's going to impact both systems. In fact, look at that. It's just getting torn apart with that dry air, and there are some stronger winds aloft. Caribbean looks great right now. So does the Gulf of Mexico. Now, this is the American forecast model, and it does bring something into the Caribbean and another one moves over towards the Bahamas and then there's this one that's still way out in the Atlantic. So, you know, things heat up this time of the year. We're going to have to watch it carefully. High pressure in the Gulf. We've got an onshore flow and man, have we had rain. I'm done with it. Scott's done with it. Sella's done with it. But we still have rain out there. It's in the city. A heaviest is along the coast. Terrebonne Parish getting pounded. They've had Doppler indicated about two and a half inches of rain. Here goes this rain heading towards Terrebonne Bay, uh, very close to Cocodri as well. Into the city, it's mostly light rain. It's a real nuisance for driving. Over the Slidell Twin Span Causeway looks pretty good. North Shore, you are looking good. And Mississippi Gulf Coast, finally, look at that rain dissipating. So that's great news. 1.72 inches of rain at the airport. So far, over nine inches for the month. We've only had two days without rain at the airport. Forecast model shows that rain dissipating tonight. Going into tomorrow, I've lowered our rain chances to a 50% chance. There's going to be rain late morning into the afternoon hours. Then it will begin to diminish, but even some rain early evening. Pollen forecast, thankfully with the rain, it's low, so that is a blessing. The air quality is good, but going into your Thursday, it's going going to be moderate as we'll have some dry Saharan dust moving in. High temperature today, 90. That's close to the average. Look at our highs. We were mid 80s to low 90s, depending on when the rain started in your area. Still rain at the airport, 77 degrees. The humidity, 100 percent. Temperatures about the area, upper 70s to near 80. Most of us rain cooled, and that's where we're going to be at 9 o'clock. Temperatures not dropping much. Lows mid 70s, <laughs> excuse me, to near 80 degrees, and then your high temperatures near 90 to the low 90s. It's going to be hot and we're going to have rain. And I've been saying this every day and it's been true every day. Three o'clock we could range from 75 to 90 degrees depending on when you've got that rain. So as you go into Thursday and Friday, I have lowered your chance of rain. That means your temperatures are going up. But over the weekend, I've had some emails about this. How is it looking? I do have rain chances a little bit higher at 50 percent chance and a high temperature near 90. There's solar eclipse Monday, 30% chance of rain. Fingers crossed that we can see it.